what's up you guys it's audrey and i am back with another video today's video is going to be a book haul so recently i've been collecting a lot of books for my classroom from a lot of different places and i wanted to share them with you i'm also going to be telling you the ways that I've been collecting books, some tips that I have for collecting books, and how you can save money while still getting really high quality books for your classroom. I'm going to start with books that I received from my Amazon wish list. First, I'm going to start with the picture books that I got from my Amazon wish list. These were so generously donated to me off my Amazon wish list. So the first one is What is Given from the Heart by Patricia C. McKissack. And the next one is The Water Princess by Susan Verde. And then lastly, I Love My Hair by Natasha Anastasia Carpley. But next, I have two standalone chapter books that were donated to me off of my wish list. The first one is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. And then next is Wonder by RJ Palacio. And I love this book. And then, off of my Amazon wish list, I also have gotten a lot of books that are from series, so I also wanted to share those separately. The first one is from the Erie Elementary series, and it's called The Locker Ate Lucy by Jack Chaubert. One is from the Unicorn Rescue Society, and it's called The Creature of the Pines by Adam Gidwitz. And then I have the first book in the Dory Phantasmagoria series. And then I have three books from the El Rey Jakes series. The first one is El Rey Jakes is not a chicken. El Rey Jakes the Recess King. And El Rey Jakes stands tall. And these are all by Sally Warner. And then lastly, a book from a series that was donated from my Amazon wish list is Meet Yes Mean. And this book is by Sadia Faruqi. Next up, I wanted to share books with you that I got from a website called First Book. First Book Marketplace is a book website that sells books um, for adults and for kids at very cheap prices. And their website and their mission is geared towards um, populations or schools who are in more financial need or have students of a population that are in financial need. Um, since I'm going to be working at a Title I school in the fall, I did qualify for a First Book account. Definitely make sure before you start adding things to your cart and browsing that you are able to make an account because I had that problem before I had a job and it was really sad. But yes, First Book is a great resource and yeah, I got a some really good books from them. The first book that I got from First Book Marketplace is another Yasmin book by Sagya Faruqi and it is called Yasmin the Friend. The next one is The One and Only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. And then I got three picture books from them. The first one is Under My Hijab by Hannah Khan. The next one is Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History by Vashti Harrison. And then the last one is Remarkably You by Pat Zetlow Miller. And then the last group of books that I wanted to share with you are books that were donated to me super generously by my wonderful mom, who was a K-2 teacher for a while, but then she is now transitioning into a fourth grade position, so she no longer needs the books that she gave to me. Some of these were her classroom books, but some of them also were books from my childhood. But that is also another great way to get books, is by reaching out to family and friends, seeing if they have books that they can give to you, if they have books lying around that their kids don't read anymore, or if they were teachers in the past and they maybe are retired or changed careers. It's a great way to get books for free or for really, really cheap. So I'm gonna start off with three books that I, am, I absolutely love. Um, these are some of the Marley books by John Grogan. The first one is Bad Dog Marley and then Marley Goes to School, and Marley and the Kittens. I have a soft spot for dogs and anything that has to do with dogs, so. Next is Stella, the Star of the Sea, Duck for President. These Dorian Cronin books have been some of my favorite to read. And then I have three Kevin Hankey's books, which is another favorite of mine. First one is Chester's Way, and then Lily's Purple Plastic Purse, and lastly, Julius, The Baby of the World. I have loved these books for a long time. 
Then I have two books by Patricia McLaughlin and em Emily McLaughlin Charst. Um, the first one is Once I Ate a Pie. And then the next one is I Didn't Do It. Again, with the dog theme, you can tell. Another dog book is Officer Buckle and Gloria. This is another one of my childhood favorites and I cannot wait to have this in my classroom. And then I have a set of books from, by David Shannon. Um, he's another very popular primary author. And so I have Alice the Fairy, No David, It's Christmas David, and How I Became a Pirate. And this one is also by um, Melinda Long. I have The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales. And then a childhood classic and a Caldecott medal winner is Where the Wild Things Are. Maurice Sendak. This is a classic. You gotta have it. I feel like it's a staple in a classroom. Three books that I feel like are also staples in a classroom and an author that you have to have in any primary classroom and that is Mo Willems books. The first one I have is Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. Then I have Nanette's Baguette and Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs. And then lastly, I have a few chapter books that I read the heck out of when I was a kid. And I'm so glad to have these for my classroom and to share them with my students. Oh, they're roll doll books. The first one is George's Marvelous Medicine, The Twits, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and one of my all-time favorite books and movies is Matilda. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'm so glad that I was able to share these books with you and a couple tips on how I've been collecting my classroom books. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite way that you have been collecting classroom books and if you have any tips for me. I would also love to hear some of your classroom library must-haves, whether it's an author, a specific book, or a genre that you feel like you just have to have. Again, I'm always looking to add books to my classroom library and any tips or suggestions would be appreciated. I'm so excited to be filming videos and I cannot wait for my next one. That is all for this video, so please like, comment, subscribe, check out the links down in the description below. I will be including my Amazon wish list in the link below, and if you are so inclined, I would so appreciate any donations, but they are definitely not necessary. You could also check out my Amazon wish list if you want any suggestions on books, or you could reach out and leave me a message in the comments or message me on Instagram, and I would love to chat about books if you have any questions about specific books, how I collected books, anything like that. I would love to talk, so please feel free to reach out. Bye!